so that is secreting increased amount of gastrin this increased amount of gastrin can do two things one it can stimulate our parietal cells directly and when it stimulates parietal cells directly it causes parietal cell hyperplasia so you might see increased gastric thick gastric mucosal folds on the endoscopy mainly in the body part of the stomach where we have a very high density of the parietal cells right and this hyperplastic parietal cell parietal mucosa will now start producing increased amount of hydrochloric acid right on the other hand this also stimulates gastrin can also stimulate enterochromaffin like cells so if you remember from the basic videos you know that enterochromaffin like cells primarily secrete histamine you have enterochromaffin cells which secrete natriuretic natri natri peptide or some similar peptides right so this enterochromaffin like cell will be producing histamine which will again stimulate parietal cells to produce more acid so this hydrochloric acid is responsible for these patients developing duodenal ulcers so again if you remember from the peptic ulcer video you will note that duodenal ulcers almost always are associated with high acid output gastric ulcers mostly are not associated with high acid output so this is a condition where there is high acid output so mostly you will develop duodenal ulcers right okay so that point is clear now the second thing usually diarrhea is a second important component right why these patients get diarrhea is because when there is increased chloride output when there is increased chloride output that also leads to increased water output or increased secretion of water right that is what one one feature explains why there is diarrhea in these patients the second reason why there may be diarrhea in these patients is there is significant ulceration of the duodenal mucosa so that can lead to some degree of malabsorption particularly carbohydrates now these malabsorbed simple carbohydrates are converted to carbohydrate alcohols by the bacterial enzymes and those carbohydrate alcohols or polyols they are they are osmotically active right so on one hand you have secretory diarrhea because of increased chloride and water output on the other hand you also have osmotic diarrhea because of the malabsorption right so malabsorption is leading to osmotic diarrhea that is the second explanation the third possibility why these patients may have diarrhea not all cases but some subset of patients is these gastrinomas may also express or secrete vasoactive intestinal peptide so that can also contribute to secretory diarrhea right so whenever you have peptic ulcer disease and patient is also complaining of diarrhea you should be suspecting zollinger ellison syndrome okay so that completes our uh, pathophysiology